So I want to look at the three reasons that derivatives don't exist. But before I do that, I need to make sure you understand some terms. So first of all, differentiate. Differentiate just means to take the derivative. So a problem may say take the derivative of this function, or it may just say differentiate this function. So differentiate is a verb, and it just means to take a derivative, or take the derivative. The second one's an adjective, and that's differentiability, or differentiable. I guess differentiable is actually the adjective. Um, a function is differentiable if you are able to take the derivative of it. Now what we're going to find is there are certain points on some graphs and some functions that where the derivative will not exist. So when the derivative doesn't exist, we say that the function is not differentiable. So there are three places where derivatives don't exist, therefore they are not different, the function would not be differentiable. So the first one is at any discontinuity. Basically look at it this way, if the function doesn't exist, then its derivative sure doesn't exist either. Um, but that covers more than just that, because the discontinuity may be a hole, it may be a jump, it may be an asymptote. So if you have any kind of discontinuity, you're not going to be able to find the derivative at that point. The rest of the graph, if it's continuous, is fine, but at the discontinuity, the derivative will not exist. Second, sharp turns like corners or cusps. Corners is just like a V-shape, just like the absolute value of X function. And cusps would be like X to the two-thirds, where uh, two curved lines meet. There's some other examples, but those are just two. <coughs> but the reason for that, I want to make sure that's clear, is first of all, we're only having a problem at the actual corner itself. The other blue parts of that line, you can take the derivative of them all day. They have the derivative. It's just at the corner. Now, derivatives are all about slope, but derivatives are also a limit. And if you remember, limits have to be approaching the same thing from both sides. So as I'm coming from this way, my slope, that's the key. I'm not talking about the y value here. I'm talking about the slope. As I come from this way, my slope is staying very steady at a positive slope. This whole side is a positive slope. But on the left side over here, I've got a negative slope. So the fact that on the left side I have a negative slope, on the right side I have a positive slope, and they're nowhere close to each other, that's why we have a problem. Okay, if you contrast that with like a parabola, well, right here, the slope is getting closer and closer to that. The slope is getting closer and closer to that here. Even at the bottom, this side we're getting closer and closer to a zero slope because it's flattening out. This side is getting closer and closer to a zero slope because it's flattening out. But with corners and cusps, that doesn't happen. And finally, we have vertical tangent lines. We would have a vertical tangent line right here in the middle. And if you remember, vertical lines have no slope. Their slope is undefined. Well, if the slope is undefined, then the derivative is as well, because the derivative finds the slope. So it, it, only at the spot you have a vertical tangent line, but at that spot, the derivative would not exist. The derivative could exist everywhere else on that function, but not at the spot where there's a vertical tangent line.